Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm very happy to be bringing you guys a brand new video. Uh, this is probably the first video I've ever made in, gosh, almost two years, I think. Something crazy like that. Um, but this is uh, Call of Duty Modern, or I'm sorry, Advanced Warfare for the PlayStation 4. And this game has been out for uh, exactly, almost exactly two weeks now. And I kind of want to just give you guys my impressions of the game. Uh, some of the things I've noticed, some of the things I like about this game, and some of the things I don't like about this game. So let's just get right into it. So this is the first game, or Call of Duty game, I've played in about 9 to 10 months. Uh, I did buy Ghost last, last year, but I don't think I have to tell you guys how terrible that game was. So I found myself playing a lot of Battlefield 4. And to be honest with you, this game wasn't even on my radar until about 1 or 2 weeks before the game was even released. Uh, where I started seeing like release footage of the multiplayer and like the, uh, with the EXO movements being showcased and it got me really interested in the game interested enough to where I went ahead and just purchased it uh, on the day, day zero or whatever I so saw this is the day zero I got the day zero edition and um yeah so um so I went ahead and played uh, started playing the multiplayer and I was and from what I saw from the footage with the Excel movements, it's been pretty. It's been pretty. Uh, it's been pretty great. Um, it's just. It's. It's definitely made the game a lot faster. The way you can just jump up to any rooftop. The verticality in this game is definitely has definitely increased a ton with the Excel movements. Um, you can strafe really quickly from side to side. Um, but on the other hand, it also works to your disadvantage. I kind of think um, where. You can basically die or get shot by in every conceivable angle position you could think of. Um, you can just bullets raining from everywhere with the new EXO, with the uh, inclusion of the new EXO movements. And it's just, it's nuts. And it's, it's made this game uh, really challenging in my opinion. Um, I'm pretty terrible at this game. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know, I've always been pretty decent at Call of Duty games. I don't know if it's because I'm still stuck in the battlefield mode of that slow kind of gameplay and this game is so fast it's crazy uh sometimes i can't even like seem to keep up with it um don't let so don't let this game don't let this gameplay fool you i'm pretty terrible but uh, this is one probably one of the only decent games i've gotten um and for every like one decent game i record there's like 10 terrible games uh, to the side But anyways, so that so the XL movements definitely a big plus definitely makes this game super unique um, Although it does kind of come off kind of like Titanfall I did play a little bit of Titanfall last year um, And it's definitely gives you that impression, but it's still Call of Duty though um, with the score streaks the weapons the you know, unlocking new wep uh, unlocking new weapons, new armory, and all that good stuff. On the other hand, though, I do think the game is a little too fast, um, and it, it just made me really appreciate, in a way, the old games. Um, for, some people might not know this, but there's actually like a classic playlist in this game where you could play um, like Team Deathmatch, Search and Destroy, um, without the XL movements. And it's seriously, it, it's a, it was a struggle. I played one game, and I climb, and I had to climb a ladder to get to a rooftop where I usually can just jump up there. And I couldn't even make it to the top of the roof without, or uh, the top of the ladder without quitting the game. That's how like brutal it was. Uh, so it definitely like puts things in perspective. Um, just the, just how it, the EXO movements definitely changed this game. So I, I encourage everybody to go check those, check that out. Um. And with that, I've I've noticed a lot of campers in this game, a lot more than usual in previous Call of Duty games. I don't know because it is a little bit more difficult to get kills in this game, but they're just everywhere, like hiding behind every door. Every time you walk into a room, they're just they're there all the time. And it's really annoying. Um, another thing I don't like about this game: the overpowered weapons, uh, especially the Battle 27, I think it's called, or the BAL. Um, it's definitely the most overpowered in this game. And it's just, it's a super effective from clo uh, close, medium, and long range. And it has like a f the fire rate to like match SMGs. And it's just, it's nuts how overpowered that gun is. So I'm still waiting for a patch on that. Hopefully to balance things out. 
And multiplayer wise, as much as I like the EXO movements of this game, I hate I hate the EXO abilities. They're all pretty much garbage and they don't last enough or they don't last long enough to like in my opinion even have like on your to, to even equip. Um, along with the grenades, the grenades in this game are terrible just because when you throw a grenade, the, your enemies can just jump out of the way 10 feet up in the air and it won't even get them. So I don't, I'm still, they need to balance that out, I, I feel like. So I don't use grenades or exo abilities in this game. But overall though, like this game is, is really fun, you know, the, the inclusion of the exo movements has made this game a lot more challenging. And it includes like stuff to like work for and to like kind of uh, work up to. But yeah, so this game is pretty cool so far. I'm really looking forward to what the next couple of months will bring this game. So anyways, if you liked any part of this video, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And be on the lookout for future videos, hopefully soon. Thanks for watching guys.